we have um, a very interesting night ahead. We're going to talk about Drop the Weight Part 3. And even though, <laughs> even though this may sound kind of simple and basic, it's still things that we need to address and we need to do. And I went through this about three months ago, and I need to do it again. But we're going to talk about getting organized. And really, it's, it's more than being organized. It is actually decluttering. Because it was amazing to me how I felt after I got some of these things uh, decluttered from my life. It was like weight was dropped from me. And I just felt, I felt lighter. And it's amazing that you can do something as simple as um, clean out your twist ties or whatever it is that you're, that you're keeping, like you're in, in your junk drawer. I, I don't know, do y'all have a junk drawer? Because I have a few junk drawers. And I'm living actually in a smaller home than I had at one time, so I've downsized and the house that we're living in now, I designed, I actually laid out the kitchen cabinets and I laid out things purposely so I didn't have a lot of junk drawers, but still they seem to be accumulating. So we don't have a lot of closet space, so I had to be very efficient. So what I want to talk about tonight is decluttering. And it's mostly things that are, for me, let me just say this, this is what I did. I had things that I had not messed with in, <laughs> I got you, Eileen. Yes, you know what, your trunk, that's a good place to start too with your car. I had to do that too. <clears throat> Why is it this kind of an out of sight, out of mind? But what I did is I had areas in my home that I hadn't touched in like years. So they were there waiting for me. And it was things I knew I needed to get rid of. Some things had just gotten old. And a good example of one place was my kitchen spices. I could not believe how many bottles of oregano. <laughs> I had oregano bottles. I had oregano in little packs. I thought, how many things of oregano do I need? But I had so many. My son moved out this summer, so he was the perfect recipient of all my extra spices. But one thing that helped me, and I wanted to share... And I have some other little tips too, and I'm going to try to put this up in the link below. I may not make it tonight, but tomorrow, check back. I'm going to put a link up for a particular document that helps you to get organized. It's called um, the KonMari Decluttering and Organizing Checklist. So I've got like a little checklist here, and I will put it in a link below this video by tomorrow. So... What I did was, I tend to to be a little obsessive. I am a little OCD. And I would start projects and become so overwhelmed that even though I might finish that project, that would be it. I would be just wiped out and I just wouldn't go on. So I purposely made myself take little chunks and do things in pieces. I had a certain time of the day in the, mor in the morning for me, and it may not be your case for you, but I had a certain time in the morning where I was by myself. And I allowed myself 45 minutes a day, Monday through Friday, to go through and do these things, whatever these things that I had not touched. And there were things uh, in my bedroom. There was a corner of my bedroom. I had like gotten presents from birthdays and just not even totally put things up or maybe I'd bought presents and hadn't been able to give them out because of COVID and not meeting up with friends and family. But there were just areas in my house and I was amazed at just giving that little bit of time how I was able to to tackle tackle these. And not only did I tackle them, but I, I did pretty good and I really straightened up, and when I got through, even there were things outside too, I'll just say this, I had bush, rose bushes that need to be trimmed. And just like you said, cleaning out your trunk in your car, clean out the back seat. You know, I work out of my car a lot of times, just getting stuff out of the car and different places, um, wherever it is. And you know, you, you probably, you're already having some things come to mind of what you could stand to have. A little bit of organization but this checklist that I'm gonna send up 
uh, I'm going to link up, will give you some ideas of things that you can look at. Now, now I will say this. This could be overwhelming if you are a little OCD and, and you decide that you're going to like do every little thing. I would say just look at something, a few of them, and just say, you know, I could stand to, let's see, this one says, go through your jewelry. All right, I have like a pile of stuff that I don't wear anymore. And I think when I hold on to items, whether it's clothing, jewelry, whatever, if I am keeping it and not wearing it, I'm really causing someone else not to be able to enjoy whatever it is. So if I love it and it's it's wonderful and I'm wearing it, that's okay. But if I'm not wearing it, I need to give it to someone else that can enjoy it. And sometimes it could even be a friend. I have had friends that say, I really love that necklace. I really love it. And you know, I thought, you know, I like it, but I don't love it like they seem to. So I'm going to give them, I'm going to gift them this particular necklace. And it always feels very liberating when I do it. And then, then when I see them wearing it, it just makes me feel like, wow, I'm so glad I did that. I'm so glad I released that. So what we're going to do is we're going to release. We're going to release things from our house, things from our jewelry boxes that we don't wear anymore, clothing, uh, dish, t dish towels. How many of you have dish towels that, I mean, they're like brown and I don't know why we keep them or if, or sometimes we take them from the dish drawer, dish towel drawer. We put them in the laundry room, which in my house is where they go. <laughs> so I can use it to, uh, for my car to clean my car with. And, and then I never use it because I have already have cloths for that. So, so let's focus on this week. On coming up with some things and even a routine I would say in your day come up with a time period and for you it could even be on a Saturday well, I hate to say Saturday be uh, cleanup day but but sometimes it has to be and just come up with some type of a time frame where you can go through and declutter and it may take for me it took it took weeks I even went through like my freezer I hadn't really I hadn't even clean my freezer out and I mean maybe a year or two I just kept put I mean I kind of straightened it up a little bit but to totally get stuff out and get to the very bottom um, and my my refrigerator is one of those three doors with the refrigerator the freezer is at the bottom and that's what I'm particularly talking about I just kept pulling that drawer out and just shutting it back so so let's just work on some decluttering so that we can go forward a lot lighter because I know that this year is going to be a great year. It really is. It's 2022. I said in one of my little videos, in with the new. Because 2021 is done. So we're in 2022. And I want this to be a spectacular year for everybody that I have some circle, some network of influence with. And these things do work. I'm doing them myself. I've done this. And you'll be amazed at just how good you do feel. Just knocking out, just just get a little punch list and you know what you need to do. You know what you need to focus on. I mean, not just like I do. And I know it's time for me to make my list again. I, I got a little off track during the holiday season because, and I still have my tree up. If you could see my tree, my tree's still standing over here. But I'm going to get that this weekend. And I'm, I am avoiding putting pressure on myself to like try to hurry up and get everything done because that really, that is not sustainable long term. And that's why I'm suggesting do things in increments on a, a daily basis. And I even have things like, I had a couple of little, I had, we had bad windstorms in South Carolina. That's where I'm at uh, the other night. And I had things I had to go out in the yard and, and pick up because it had blown over. But I used that 45 minute window in my day to do that. That's my time period that I go and I, and I set that time aside. I have like a morning routine and I set that time aside and I'm able to do that now. My kids are older and everyone's not always able to do that. I understand that. But I set that time aside and that's the time period I use to do these things. And I just feel so much lighter and I will feel so much better when I, I'm going to do it with y'all. I'm going to go back through some things too. But on this list, it's talking about, just to give you some ideas, your utility and your storage room. Things in your bathroom. Oh, this is one. This is one that um, photos, photo albums, journals. Ooh, just going through that. That's that could take some time. But the thing is, just do 
a little each day. And you'll be amazed just doing a little each day how much you get done. And you, you think, I'll never get this done. This is going to be like this for years. That Well, that's not true. You can do it. You can do it. You can get it done. You can get it behind you. And you'll be able to lay your hands on that particular box of photos that you were looking for. Or, you know, you'll just have fun going back through it and enjoying the memories of the, the images, the pictures that you took of your family and your friends. Linens. This is another area I have to address every so often. It just seems like they get all mushed in there. And I have, I have like little cubby holes that mine are in. Some people have closets. Just kind of, sometimes it's just kind of getting them out and just putting them back in. You find what either you don't need or you think, oh man, I, I wonder where that was. <laughs> well, there it is. Now I can use those particular sheets that I loved. So furniture, throw pillows, vases, rugs. What about books? Do you have any books that you need to go through and get rid of? Or how about medicine? I don't know how many of y'all keep medicine because you know, I just might need to eat that medicine one day. But then you look, you start looking through and some of that stuff is from the 90s. You're like, oh, I don't believe I need to mess with that medicine anymore. I need to throw that out. So folders in your office. If you have a home office, go through some things there. What about, um, do y'all, anybody in here besides me have like old phones, like old, like old, uh, cell phones or the chargers, the chargers that used to work that, you know, they keep changing the ports. So you have to get new chargers, maybe go through some of that and just throw that away or give it away if somebody else needs to use them. Let's see what else we got on this list. Cleaning. Oh, fridge. I talked about that kitchen. Go through like your cutlery drawers, um, coupons. Man, I get coupons. I've gotten to where I just don't even clip them anymore because by the time I find them, they're all bunched up. They're expired, so I don't even do that anymore. But I'm not saying that's your that's what you should do, but that's just me. And I really try to, when things come in and your mail comes in, go through it immediately, throw away as much as you can that you don't need, and address right then what you need to either take somewhere or do something with and put it in its spot so that you can keep that we'll say on top of your bills for one thing even though i know electronically we do a lot of things these days go through old swimwear what about your shoes old shoes old sandals that you that one broke and you decided you loved it so much you were going to get it fixed and you know here it is five years later maybe maybe you can like trash that old cookbooks Oh, and some of them you might be glad you found. You could do something with old magazines. What about remotes? I have a I have a basket right over here. It's got old remotes in it. I've got to just go through and just trash them. And there's one other thing. <clears throat> I know that sometimes when something is daunting for me or overwhelming, I procrastinate. I put it off. And actually what that does, that that brings like a guilt that I know I need to address something, whether it's decluttering, cleaning, whatever. And it just is kind of like it's vicious cycle. So that's really what we're talking about. And that, there's, an, there's one thing that when I made my list and I did exactly what I'm talking about right here with you guys, and I am actually going to do it again too. I made a list and I got everything done, but one thing, there was one thing, and it's this right here. I don't know if you can see this. I cross-stitch. And this says, Forever Friends, because I think it may be backwards. I don't know if you can read it. Maybe backwards on what you're seeing. But this was for my friend's birthday. And her birthday is coming up here in about three weeks. Uh, this was 10 years ago. At least 10. Maybe. I think it was longer than that because my daughter's 17. She was little. And when I had her, she was so into stuff. I had to kind of put it up. And when I did, it went out of sight. So... My goal is to get this done. I'm going to work on it a little each day. I'm not going to sit there and try to work for hours and hours on it to get it done because that overwhelms me. I'm actually going to enjoy it, and as I do it, I'm going to think about her and how much I love her, and I'm glad that she's in my life. And that helps me. It helps me to stay grounded because I can obsess and overwhelm myself and stress out. And that's, that's exactly the opposite of what we want to do. We want to free ourselves up so that we can enjoy this year. And I know you're going to enjoy this year. It's going to be a great year. Well, next week, 
we're going to talk about drop the weight part four. But what that's going to be, it's going to be very interesting. It's going to be about our health. So we're going to address all things health. And I know we can't cover everything in about 15 or 20 minutes in one evening, but we're going to get started because I know that I can do better with my health. And there are things that I am working on right now, and I have still a lot of work to do. I want to share some of the things that I'm doing that are working. I want to share things that are not, so that you can avoid it. <laughs> I tried different things. I tried different diets. And right now, I'm on a Daniel fast for a number of reasons. But for one, is to ground myself and align myself this year for what the good things that are in store. And... I know that I need to get clarity, get vision. We need to, when I, when I fast and I come off of TV, so I'm, it's more than just for me, it's more than just food. I'm not watching television and I'm not on my phone playing a lot of stuff and going through life, a lot of things because that does distract me, it distracts all of us. So what I'm going to do is I am eating healthy. I'm eating fruits and vegetables no coffee. I can't really believe that, but I'm not doing any coffee. I am drinking hot tea. I have my hot tea right here. I'm drinking green tea is what it is. But we're going to talk about health. And I do usually avoid New Year's resolutions because if it's important enough to make a resolution, really that resolution should be made immediately. So if it's October, and we know we need to lose five pounds or 50 pounds. We need to start in October versus January. But I do also like to look ahead. I like to look back. Our family always goes and we do an evaluation of 2021 or the year before. In this case, 2021. We do an evaluation, the sort of things that we achieved. And then we look at... 2022 and what would we like to achieve in the year coming ahead or what's coming up that we're looking forward to that we're excited about or how can we improve that's what we do so I would encourage you to do your decluttering go ahead and think about some ways that you can declutter and free yourself up look forward to next week we're going to talk about our health and how we are going to get healthy because this is the only body that we have. It's the only vessel. This vessel needs to get us through, through many years. But it's not just that we should just go through the years. Don't you want to enjoy it? If you get to the point where you're an empty nester and you can actually go out and do things with your spouse or your friends, but yet your body's dragging you down because we didn't take the time to exercise or eat right or, or even get a rest or some people I know probably watching that you really don't get as much sleep as you need to we need to think about how we can reorder our lives so that we can be healthy well, we're going to talk about that next week and I look forward to seeing you all again out here please get on Amarada get on the Facebook post I love to hear from you if you have something you want to share, please do. I am getting, uh, I am renovating a beauty salon. So I'm going to start posting some things on it. So go out there and look every once in a while. It's going to be fun. And I would love your input, your feedback. And I am so blessed and honored that you would be in this group. I really am. I really do love women and I want your life to be successful, empowered, in the way that you view it. I want you to become that woman that you can admire, you can look up to, and I know you can. So I'm going to say good night, but please do join us out there and, and become active on our Facebook group. We really want to have you. And please join me next week, same time, Tuesday at 8 o'clock.